question is, how do you know if people really are interested in your stuff, right? How do you know if they're interested in your coaching, your training, your business opportunity? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to know that they're interested because you're going to see a flood of opt-ins start to hit your inbox. They're actually going to go to your landing page or your opt-in page, whatever you call it. They are actually going to enter in their name and their email address to be connected with you. Maybe you've promised a free ebook. Maybe you've promised access to a special video. Maybe you're going to give a 15 minute coaching consultation, whatever it is, they're opting in because guess what? Ding, ding, ding. They're interested. So the second question is, is it easy to make this opt-in page? Like, is that going to take a lot of time? Do I have to be a graphic designer or have some extra special skill? The answer is absolutely not. Anybody can do it and stick around. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. And just, a few minutes all right very very simple get the hang of this because that's how you're gonna be able to track your interested prospects okay and you're gonna be able to stay in touch with them far after they've gone to your website and kind of forgotten about you all right you're gonna make sure that you stay in contact build rapport so that you can form a relationship and sell to them later on down the line all right so ready here we go grab your pen and paper Hey guys, all right, so we're back and you're looking at a little box with me in it and the computer screen. So what I wanna show you guys is really quickly how you can make this opt-in slash landing page so you can start collecting leads. I also wanna integrate this and show you how I connect my Aweber form, all right? That's my email autoresponder, Aweber is the service that we use. I'm gonna show you how to link this up so that as soon as people go to your landing page, immediately they're on your list and that's when you can begin contacting them. So stick with me, let's dive in and start step number one. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do guys is I'm inside of my back office, all right? This is the back office of the Kalatu blogging system. Um, it's, you know, it has some really beautiful already done lead capture pages that you can make with their system um, called InstaBuilder. So really easy. All you have to do is go right here to your sidebar. Again, it's powered by WordPress, so it looks probably much like something you guys have seen before on any WordPress powered blogging system. All right. So it all looks familiar, not hard, not threatening. Um, I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to click uh, where it says pages. All right. I'm already on that tab and I'm going to just start a new page. All right. So I'm going to say add new page. And as that comes up, I'll go ahead and talk out the next step. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit right here where it says InstaBuilder, enable InstaBuilder. I'm going to turn that on and it'll say launch InstaBuilder 2.0 edition, right? That's what I want. So it's going to make me actually name this page first. So I'm going to go ahead and title it testing page. Testing opt-in page. Okay. So that's what I'll call that. And it's going to make me just scroll down and save my draft first. And then I can go ahead and go inside of the InstaBuilder. Now the InstaBuilder is actually, sorry, there's something in my eye. The InstaBuilder is actually going to enable me to make a beautiful capture page that's already done for me. I don't have to worry about graphic design. I don't have to worry about making pretty forms, using another service to um, have a decent looking form. It's all going to be kind of done for me. So I'm going to hit launch InstaBuilder. And this is what I'm talking about. All right, choose a template. I'm all about that template life because it makes anybody who's not a designer, who doesn't have time, it makes you look really professional in about two seconds because you're gonna pick already done for you, um, really nice visual designs. So I'm gonna just pick one that says, um, I'm gonna do a squeeze page, okay? So of course, this is where people wanna enter in their information. This is where I want them to enter in their information. I'm going to scroll down for example purposes just so you guys can see like some of the different options that you have. You know, you could have something that has like a timer where it says like download this report or, you know, um, a quick video, right? A quick video. Let's pick that one actually. I think I kind of like that. I'll just scroll down a little bit so you can see all the different templates. Now, I will add that these are customizable. So if you're not happy with the color scheme or with the background pictures or, you know, the color of the text, all right, change it not a problem at all, right? If you wanted a different background right here instead of that beach, well, you can change it, right? If you want like a picture of, you know, the forest or you want a picture of, um, I don't know, like the galaxy system, <laughs> you can change that. All right, so I'm gonna scroll back up because I said that we were gonna pick this video one. And I'm picking video because you guys know Team Transformation, 
Um, that's me, my sister, and my mother, right? We work together and we do a lot of videos because video is where it's at. You know, that's how you can engage with people in a really effective way. So I encourage you guys to get started with video if you're not already. Okay, guys, so now the template is loaded. Really simple, you guys can see. This is like almost as easy as writing an email or editing a document that somebody sent you, all right? Everything is click and modify, all right? If I click this headline, I just highlight the little pencil and I can say, um, I might just say, team transformation. Yay, okay. And so the letters turned gray. I want them to be white. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna turn those letters white and I might actually make them a little bit larger. So there we go. You know what I mean, right? You guys got this. So the part that we really care about for this purpose is, again, you wanna know that people are interested in this landing page, interested in your stuff. And the only way you'll know that is if they actually follow the instructions on your landing or opt-in pages. For this instance, it says subscribe now, right? So we want people to simply enter their name and email and hit subscribe now. However, the thing here is that it's not linked to our Aweber, okay? So right now, this is just my blogging platform, okay? So it needs to actually talk to my autoresponder, okay? It needs to talk to my, my place that holds all my list of names of interested people that come in, all right? That makes sense, right? So what it's gonna tell me is, again, it's just following directions. I'm gonna hit this form and I'm gonna edit this, okay? Oh, there it is right there, I'm not seeing it. Oh, so I click it, see this little gear button right here? I'm gonna hit the gear. Moving a little slow. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the gear right here underneath the subscribe button because it's editing this box. You guys can see the perimeter, the blue lines around. So I'm gonna hit that. And now we see that I'm like, have the option to change the opt-in settings, right? It knows that this is an opt-in box. And so right here, you can see the opt-in HTML code, that's what we're concerned about because we're gonna go inside of our autoresponder system, Aweber in this case, you do the same thing for um, another service that you're using, I'm quite sure. Um, and I'm gonna get the code for a form that I create inside of my email system. I'm gonna place that HTML code right here. Really simple, it sounds more complicated than it is. And that's allowing these two systems to talk. All right, makes sense, right? So um, I'm basically just like connecting them with a little cord. So we'll come back and do that, but this is where you can change your form fields. So you guys can see like you can change like the field style, I could change the background color. Like if I didn't want that to be white, I wanted it to be red or something like that, I would change it. Uh, but the great thing is these are so well designed. Professionals have spent time designing these templates, so there's really no need to change that much um, unless you really have to. An image or something like that, yes. But the way the form looks, they already look really great. Um, the opt-in form button, okay? This is a great chance for you to say, if you didn't want to say subscribe now, you can say something else. I could hit image button and it'll say action. Do I want to upload a button that I actually already have, you know, uploaded or I have it saved somewhere on a desktop? Sure, that would mean upload image. I would upload that button. But if I don't want to deal with all that, I just want to upload a pre-made button, I'd hit upload pre-made button. And then here's all my button choices. So I could say yes, let me in early, continue, get on the waiting list, click to join now, all right? And so you're gonna pick the button that's gonna make sense for whatever content this person is going to be opting in for, right? So I'll just hit click to join. How about that? Click to join. You guys can see that button changed. Voila, done, right? So I'm gonna go back up and I want to, let's see if it'll let me click this. There we go. Okay, so I wanna get out of opt-in form and I wanna go back into um, opt-in HTML code, all right? There's some other cool stuff that you can play around with down here, but we're not gonna do that today. Uh, but if you do wanna integrate your webinar service or a Facebook opt-in so they sign in with their Facebook credentials, you can do that as well. But let's go to the HTML form code. So it tells you what to do right here. Please insert the HTML 
version of the opt-in form code that you can obtain from your autoresponder email marketing service provider, like AWeber or GetResponse, right? So let's go grab that. Okay guys, we are actually here inside of our back office of AWeber and I've already selected just for time's sake one of the lists in my autoresponder. I have tons, okay? So I have a lot of lists I can choose from, but I'm just going to pick this one, how to get more leads, all right? Um, and this is like, you know, a random list I made probably a while back. I want to make a new form for this list so that people that sign up on that um, on that opt-in page that we were just looking at, I want to make sure that they get on the right list, right? I don't want them to go into a list that's like about something that's not related to um, what they thought that they were signing up for, right? And this is like a way of me organizing my leads, okay? So how to get more leads? I'm going to say sign up form, right? I'm already in this tab and I'm going to say create sign up form. That's it, okay? And just FYI, I mean, using this simple system, um, this opt-in, this has been amazing. I mean, this has allowed us, our team, Team Transformation, to get over 1,200 leads, like over 1,200 leads in less than a year, which has been amazing. Um, and so you can, as, remember all these lists that I'm showing you, like there's tons of lists that we, you just create as many as you need to create, okay? And then you place these forms different places and you let the leads just start to come in, all right? So here we go. Let's do this in two minutes because it's just that easy. Again, we're hit with the infamous opt-in, I mean template again, right? Here's the cool thing. In this instance, since this page already has this beautiful design template, I'm not interested in what this template over in my back office of AWeber looks like because it's going to negate that. It just needs to know that it's going to collect a name and an email, okay? It has a sign-up form. That's all I'm worried about. So when you go into your back office again, you want to make sure that all the fields that you have here, name, email, you want to make sure that those same fields are um, also listed here in your AWeber sign-up form, okay? So if I had phone number, I'd want to make sure that this list also had phone number, okay? And that's really easy to add, okay? All you have to do is go here and select create new field if I wanted to add a phone number field um, or if I wanted to add an address or an email, I'm sorry, not an email, an address or a a city or something like that. I could do it all here. But you guys can watch the tutorials inside of AWeber for that. Very easy. All right, so look, I don't have to do anything to this at all. Name and email is there. Again, I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to hit Save Form. And then it's going to bring me to Step 2. I click Go to Step 2. Basic Settings. My form name. I'm going to say Testing Team Transformation. Okay, Testing TT. The thank you page, because you guys know, like when people opt into something, they're opting in usually to get added to a list or they're opting in to get access to another page, like access to a special video or access to your calendar so they can schedule coaching for you with you or access to a downloadable ebook. So this is your chance to tell people and or what the, and what that next page is called is a thank you page. All right. So so you guys know it's called a thank you page. And this is your chance to get to select what that page looks like. So if I wanted them to land on a page where they could watch, you know, a video, a how-to video from me, then I would hit custom page and I would put the URL for where that video lives. Or if it's like an opportunity video that's provided by my company, that's a great chance to also put that opportunity video URL right here. So they've opted into your list to get access to that special video, okay? So... That should be self-explanatory there. If you guys have questions, contact us on asideofchange.com um, and we'd be more than happy to connect with you further and get you started um, with the system and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna say open this in a new window and I'm gonna say save form, okay? Oh, the last thing I didn't show you is if you click down to advanced setting, this is where you can select how you want people to be followed up with, okay? So if you want to collect names and you want to follow up with people with like an uh, uh, email follow-up series that you've created, you're going to put welcome message first as the first follow-up. That's what happens when your cat jumps in front of your, of your screen. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Um, so you can put welcome message first follow-up. So that way when they opt in, they're going to get a welcome message right away. And it's going to say, hey, thanks for connecting. I'm really excited about you know, giving you my free um, um, ebook 
or I'm really excited about you watching the video, I'm going to touch base in 24 hours and see what you like best, okay? That's your chance to do that. Or if you say, no, I don't want an autoresponder follow-up series, I just want to follow up with them sporadically through a broadcast, that's where you would select that button, okay? All right, so I'm going to hit Save Form. Saved, great. I'm going to say go to step three, and I'm going to hit I will install my own form. All right, this is the beauty. All right, so this is where I want to grab the raw HTML version of my form, okay? I want to highlight all that. Oops, thought I highlighted it. I want to highlight all that, and then I want to hit copy, all right? So I just copied all of that, all right? Let's do that again. Just to make sure. You want to get all that code, okay? So just copy it all. Copy, and then here's the magic. I come over here, back into my back office at InstaBuilder or whatever other platform that you're using, and I'm going to paste this right into this box, okay? And I'm going to hit process. And guess what? The opt-in code has been processed and it's done.